What's up everybody, I'm Finn McKenty. This is my second channel and this is your home for my Twitch highlights and my podcast. So if you like this and you wanna see more of that and you wanna join the live streams, there's a link to that in the description of this video. And with that out of the way, let's get into it. Ronnie Radke versus a heckler. Let's watch this video. I have some thoughts about it. For one, it's just kind of funny, but there's some other stuff to talk about here. So first of all, let's watch what happened here. So the guy for context is wearing some some guy showed up here wearing a fuck Ronnie Radke shirt and like pushed his way up to the front row and wanted Ronnie to notice him, which he did. So Ronnie noticed it. He said, where's the guy with the fuck Ronnie Radke shirt? You do not want the fucking smoke, Ronnie. You do not want the fucking smoke, brother. Might I remind you that number one, Ronnie's a big dude. Like he's probably what, 6'1 or something like that. And I don't know, probably around like 190 or something like that. He's a solid big dude. I might also remind you that he was in prison for like two or three years. Not at this point in his life that Ronnie's the type of guy that's just going to go like attack a random fan. But as he said, you don't want the smoke. And I would be inclined to agree with you. You do not want that smoke. I will beat your fucking ass. This is my Twitter. But you're like fucking 40 in the front row with a soft made fuck Ronnie Raggy shirt. But bro... You're like 40 in the front row with a self-made fuck Ronnie Radke shirt. Again, you know it's bad when Ronnie Radke, of all people, is calling you out for being an immature edgelord. In the chat here, someone said, what's wrong with being 40? Well, there's nothing wrong with being 40. I'm 43. But I do think that there is something to be said for acting your age. You know, it's one thing to be a 17-year-old doing that shit. It's another thing to be 40 doing that shit. At this point in your life, you should not be spending your free time like being an edgelord to some like dude in a band who doesn't even know you exist. As other people have pointed out here, it's it's true. Ronnie's like 37 or 38. He should he should know better too. You know, threatening a stranger over a shirt is something he probably shouldn't do at his age. But I actually think the way that he addresses this is uh is pretty right on. And I guess my larger point to this is like I think it's fucked up and it sucks that you know being a public figure means that you basically just have to stand up there and take abuse from fucking random strangers on the internet. I mean I'm not saying let's cry for Ronnie and Andy Beersack and me and everybody else but why should we let people get away with just being assholes? That's my point. I think if you are like this dude and you show up at this show you know wanting to antagonize Ronnie and be this dude I think you should get fucking embarrassed for it because it sucks. It's not cool and it's not because like let's feel sorry for ronnie it's just because do we need more people like this in society like running around being fucking assholes and not getting checked for it i think all of us should push back a bit on these like asshole edgelords because they add absolutely fucking nothing to society all they do is just bum everybody out they just you know it's like going to a party and there's two loud motherfuckers in there making all these like edgy jokes and just being dicks and they make all the cool people in the room uncomfortable and shut up and want to leave and so then the only people left in the party are the assholes and at this point you know that's what rock has become to a large extent so i think it's important to push back on people like this and call them out Yeah, like Ronnie said, it's disrespectful. And I think as a society, we should call people out for being disrespectful. And some dude here is screaming, fight, fight, fight. But what Ronnie's saying here is like, why do you have a problem with me? Like, I don't even know who you are. How could you possibly hate me this much? And then Ronnie says, you're a bitch, fuck you. So, you know, this is Ronnie. I think he would agree that he's not always, you know, the one to take the high road. Uh, but still, I think he's more right than wrong here. Ronnie is right here. He says, I'm a good dude. You've been misled by the media. You are too old to be here doing that shit. I think he's got a point. I mean, that's the reason why I made the video about him. I'm not saying Ronnie is perfect and I'm not here to stand for him or defend him or whatever, but I think he's a good example of somebody who, you know, basically there's a lot of people that just say things about him that just are straight up not true. My issue with that, again, is not necessarily like, oh, let's cry for Ronnie. It's a reflection of a larger phenomenon of just that everyone is so fucking angry right now and they're so quick to believe 
anything bad that they read third hand or whatever about anybody that they don't like and just act like it's the gospel truth. Fake news is a real serious problem in our society. Misinformation is a real serious problem in our society. You know, we've decided that so-and-so is a bad person and therefore anything that they say or do is bad. And I'm going to take any opportunity to attack this person without ever taking a second to look into the facts. For example, I thought for years that Ronnie killed somebody and it's not true. He didn't kill somebody. I'm not saying he's like an angel. Basically, he was involved in a shooting and he got on parole for that. And then the reason why he went to prison is because he violated parole because he failed the drug test. So is he an angel? No, that was stupid. He should have stayed off drugs, blah, blah, blah. He would agree with everything that I'm saying, but he didn't kill somebody. And there's people in the comments of all these like videos and stuff just repeating, oh, Ronnie's a murderer. He, he's not. I mean, unless he killed somebody and we don't know about it, but that's not what he went to prison for. And so to me, this is like a reflection of a larger phenomenon that I think is genuinely troubling. And I'm glad that people like Ronnie are pushing back because we don't want to live in a world in which people are just allowed to fucking be hateful assholes in public and it's unchallenged. We don't want to live in that world. You should be ashamed of yourself, man. Yeah, so this is a, a valid point in the uh, in the chat here. There's seriously such bigger problems than being hostile towards a pop culture figure, aka Afghanistan, inflation, Federal Reserve, housing crisis, etc. That's all true. But my point here is that we're so antagonistic towards each other and we're so tribalist that we can't even have a conversation about these things. And I would argue that what this guy is doing here to Ronnie is the same thing that people do to fill in the blank politician or public figure on any side. Rather than engage with their ideas, they just say, fuck her, fuck him, just call names and point fingers. People would rather just be assholes to each other than talk about the actual problem. That's the reason why I'm kind of picking this out. Obviously, you know, somebody calling Ronnie a name at this festival and wearing a shirt, that doesn't matter. But I think it's a larger phenomenon. Like what this guy is doing is part of the reason why we can't fucking get anything done is because everyone's too busy calling each other names and being dicks and we encourage it. We encourage it with our clicks, with the media that we read. You know, we, we amplify this stuff. We share this stuff on social media. Like it's a real problem. You know, what this guy's doing is a microcosm of the reason that we can't get anything done. Ronnie's like, I beat up dudes twice your size in prison. I bet he did. People are okay with Tim Lambesis, and yet the same person would accuse Ronnie of murder. Exactly, because these people have decided that Tim is good and Ronnie is bad. This is the problem. Everybody is treating the world like it's fucking team sports, and it's not team sports. It's reality. You know, if you want to cheer for the Seahawks or the 49ers, fine. Like, be as much of an asshole about that as you want. I mean, I would argue that obviously there's better things to do with your time than be like, a 49er stand or a Seahawks stand or whatever. When it comes to actual social issues, you got to put that stuff behind you. You know, it's not about cheering for your team and just deciding that everything the other team does is bad. It's about nuance. You know, there's times in which your team might be wrong and the other team might be right. And I would argue that just having a team at all is dumb. I'm not here to fucking carry water for any political affiliation or anybody other than, you know, myself and my family. That's what this guy is doing. It's just, this is just such a reflection of this just toxic shit that we tolerate as a culture. Like we should never tolerate people being assholes like this. This is the reason why I went to jail is because of people like that. I go to therapy to control my anger about people like this. And that's the other thing that I would say to this guy or to anybody else being an edgelord. Like Ronnie said at the beginning, this is not Twitter. I'm glad that Ronnie is not, you know, going to attack this guy because then he would just go back to prison. And that's not, you know, that that's as a parent, that's certainly the last thing you should do. But I think it's important. There's, I talked about this before, like in my video about crowd killing and stuff and, and violence in the hardcore scene. I think it's also important to remember that, you know, this is not Twitter. This is real life. And there's a lot of people out there that if you run your mouth to them, will just fucking beat your ass or worse. I don't think that's a bad thing. I've told this story before. I learned that lesson when I was like 14 or 15, maybe. I was at the mall playing Street Fighter 2, which was like the big game at the time to tell you how long ago that, that was. I was in Everett, Washington, which is a little bit of a kind of rough, scummy place. I was playing against some kind of semi-cholo kind of kid and I, I beat him really bad at the game because I was a nerd and I was good at it. And I was kind of like talking shit to him about it. And he was maybe a year or two older than me. I was like talking shit about, you know, I don't remember exactly what I said. And he was getting pissed and he was like, dude, if you keep talking shit, if you say one more thing, I'm going to punch you in the fucking face. And I was like, whatever, man. And I, 
you know, made some snide comment and then pow, he punched me in the fucking face. <laughs> Not hard enough to like knock me out or anything like that, but I was like, ow. And I was like, oh, well, what am I going to do now? I realized, you know, I wasn't going to fight this kid because he was obviously way tougher than me. So I was just like, well, I guess I'm just going to walk away now. <laughs> it was like one of those David Attenborough nature shows where it's like the weaker male leaves defeated. That's what happened to me. And I'm glad that it happened to me. Like I, I needed that. And it's happened to me other times in my life too. But, you know, it's important. I was certain like I don't feel bad for fucking anybody who runs their mouth and then gets an ass beating. People need that. Like your words have meaning and consequence. And when you say dumb shit, there's someone on the other side of it and you might have to answer for it. We should all remember that you say the wrong thing to the wrong person and you could get hurt. I think we've sort of lost the plot a bit, at least in, in America and probably Western Europe. I, I don't know, but we've sort of gotten into the habit of being just awful fucking assholes to each other and it sucks. And I'm glad that Ronnie is speaking some sense to this guy. And I'm glad that Ronnie is reminding this guy this stuff. I'll give you a fucking heart attack, homie. No, too. I'm looking in both of you guys' eyes. I'm fucking psyched. Fuck you, motherfucker. Fuck you. Fuck around and find out. Yeah, I mean, should Ronnie threaten this guy from the stage? You know, may maybe not, especially with his daughter there. You know, I think he would probably agree that that's not necessarily the best way to respond for his own sake, but he definitely wasn't wrong to say it. I'm glad that he did. I think more public figures should push back on people. Who's punching down? You know, the kind of people say that are fucking pussies. Pussies who want to run their fucking mouth without any consequence. How about this? If you don't want somebody to punch down at you, don't fucking punch up. How about that for a fucking life lesson? You don't get a free fucking pass to just say like horrible, disrespectful shit to people just because they're in the public eye. What does that matter? Like if someone has a, more money in the bank than you or more followers than you, you get to just say whatever the fuck you want to them? That's stupid. Clearly there's something wrong with your life that you feel like you need to channel all this like negative energy you have inside into, the, into saying horrible things about public figures that don't even fucking know you. I obviously feel a little, uh, feel a type of way about this, as they say because I'm on the receiving end of hundreds and hundreds of shitty comments every day. But, you know, it's real. And, and aside from all the stuff I talked about as far as, you know, it getting in the way of making progress on these social issues, which I think is true, uh, it also discourages a lot of people from being creators because rightly so, I think there's a lot of people that are like, you know, I'd like to start a YouTube channel or a podcast or whatever, but I know how toxic the comments get and I don't want to deal with that. I think that would be bad for my mental health. And those people are right. As soon as you get any kind of following, you're going to start getting more hate. And that shit is definitely bad for your mental health. I mean, you know, maybe there's some people that it just doesn't affect them. I mean, I get the sense from talking to Fantano, for example, he doesn't really seem to give a shit about that stuff and good for him. But I, I care about it, uh, maybe less than other people, but it gets to me sometimes and I know it gets to other people too. So we should want a world in which everybody feels free to express their opinion in a respectful way. That's important, not just so that we get more YouTube channels and stuff. It's important so that we can have more productive conversations about shit that actually matters. Like you said, like inequality and the climate crisis and Afghanistan and fucking, you know, fill in the blank, all these other issues that nobody can fucking talk about because we're all too busy cheering for our team and fucking putting down the other team and it's bullshit and it's got to stop. That's my two cents on Ronnie. And Ronnie, Ronnie and the heckler, just because you dislike something doesn't mean you have to go out of your way to get a reaction out of someone. Yeah, exactly. If this guy hates Ronnie, that's totally fine. But is it, you know, is this what you want to do with your life? Do you want to be the guy in this video? Is that really what you want to do with your life? I hope not. Think of all the things you could possibly do with your Saturday. Being this guy, doing this is probably at the bottom of the list of those things. Like literally almost anything else would be a better way to spend your time and energy than that. The Ronnie video was boring, to be honest. Thank you for your opinion. Tell me again how boring it was. Say it again. Tell me how, tell me how boring the video was. Tell me I suck. Tell me my videos are shit. Come on, say it. Say it louder. Tell me my videos are shit. Tell me I should quit. Say it.